Hello everyone, this is Aubrey Coach V. Volius with V Formation. Today I'd like to talk to you about something that is very important to all of us, and that is being prepared. My mom used to always tell me and my little brother all the time that we had to prepare to meet Jesus. And when I was a child, I really didn't understand what that meant, be prepared to meet Jesus. And I'm going to come back to that at the very end of this segment to tell you what I think being prepared to meet Jesus is. But being prepared, we always have to be prepared, whether it's at school, whether it's at work, whether it's going out with friends, whatever, we have to be prepared. And I'm going to take the being prepared at school. You know, your teacher always give you written work to do, you talk about your assignments in class, your teacher goes over all type of material with you, and then you're preparing for your tests to see what knowledge you retain from all the information that your teacher taught you. So when you're prepared, you have to study, you have to go over the information in your head, you have to also take notes, so that you're prepared for your test so that you can get the best grade possible on your test that's being prepared. Athletes have to be prepared to become great or to become very successful in what they do. As you all know, I'm a college basketball coach as well as a school teacher. I always tell my players that you get prepared for the next season in the month of May, June, July, and August, because you have to lift, you have to get up extra shots, you have to do agility drills, uh, you have to just do a whole lot of things to get yourself prepared for the upcoming season. Also, being prepared at work. You may have things that you have to get done at work, and you know your job starts at 9 a.m. So guess what? Don't just come in at five minutes to nine and getting ready to be prepared for your day's work. I always think that you should come in a few minutes earlier so that you can get all your materials together and do what you need to do to be prepared. Just like I told you, your teacher gives you all this material and then you have to prepare for the test. Well, guess what? Your teachers have a lesson plan. They're preparing for that lesson that they're teaching you. Now, I told you I would come back to what is being prepared to meet Jesus, as my mom used to always tell me and my little brother. Well, what I learned as I got older, preparing to meet Jesus was being a great Christian, walking in a Christian way, and most of all, helping people, not only helping yourself, but helping others. When you do those things and when it's time for you to meet Jesus at the end of your journey, at the end of your walk, when you're sitting before the good Lord, he will tell you job well done because of all the things that you did when you were on earth and you were helping other people. You are not only helping yourself and you made people feel good. You made people feel warm, but most of all, you were there for people. And that is what I really believe what my mother was talking about, being prepared to meet Jesus. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful evening, and a wonderful night. This is Aubrey Coach V. Volius with V Formation.